Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video we're going to take a closer look at one of the new stamp set from Miss Ink. This release will be available on the 8th of March. <laughs> and this beautiful stamp set that we're taking a closer look at today is called Pretty Birds. And I just love this stamp set. I believe it's one of my favorites from the new release. And you can see all the Pretty Birds and the clusters with the branch and the flowers and everything. And these tiny, tiny flowers I used on so many projects that I created with a new release. I think they go so well with any image. And you can just pop them here and there and they are just a fabulous like uh, addition to any card that you're creating. So enough about that. I start off by using Copic markers uh, to color in all of my images and I will not let you sit and watch me color all of these. Um, I will speed through a lot of it. and. Um, I will also use a product here that isn't from Miss Ink. It's actually from Trinity Stamps. It's just a stamp set that I had in my stash um, that I will use a sentiment that says love from. And I, the reason I use this is just because I had a coordinating sentiment. Uh, oh, sorry, a coordinating die for it. And I just love the font together with the birds. So that was the reason behind that. But you can find whatever you have and use that. Uh, and I also used one of the ins and out stencils from Miss Ink. I will leave links down below for this one because this is not a new one. It's actually an, an older one. I believe it was released last uh, year. And I will use my blending brushes and a couple of inks in this peach and pink color combination from Concord Night. And I just love how this turned out. You can see I'm using my brushes mainly towards the edge and leaving the middle part really light and i just love that contrast that that brings to everything and i will also when i'm done with the coloring here go in and do some splatters because everything gets better with splatters in my mind so <laughs> i did that and you can see i'm working my way back and forward between the colors and it doesn't matter if some parts are like not evenly blended that is totally okay because uh, we will cover up a lot of this when we are adhering our birds later on. And for this ins and outs, it also comes with this stencil set. So it's actually two in a pack. Plus there is a mask that you also can use for some projects. And this is just amazing because this creates a frame around your now inked background uh, or focal point. And I use some mousses here from... Uh, um, from, oh, what it is called, uh, from Nuvo, of course, from Nuvo, some uh, mousses, and this really brings out the shine, I believe this is more of a yellow tinted color, and it really went well with all of the other colors that I use for this project. Um, if I had been more prepared, I of course would have looked what this was called, and I can leave a link down below if you like. So when that was drying, I decided to assemble all of my clusters with the, with the branch and the birds. And I used a lot of foam tape here. And I just love the mention on my project. So I went ahead and I used a fair share of um, embellishment, or sorry, <laughs> uh, foam squares here. Just to make this become the embellishment of my card. So when that was uh, done, I realized that I needed some more dimension for my font here. So I went ahead and cut out four more pieces of the pink cardstock and one from the gold one. And I will just leave a shadow with the gold one and I will speed this up a second here. And then I will slow it down so you can see how I created my shadow piece here with the gold. Because that is a hint of texture to the background of my sentiment and that is enough to bring some contrast and interest to the sentiment. And I know even if the camera is picking it up, but in real life, it's just beautiful. So now my least favorite part of a card is to peel off all the adhesive from the back of my embellishment here. But my favorite part is to assemble it. So look how beautiful this is when it all comes together, that branch and the birds, and they are looking so lovely. <laughs> and the love sentiment there. And I hope that you can see uh, the sparkle from the back piece that we created. I know I am and I love it. 
So since I had a fair amount of like dimension on my birds here and I wanted to make it the sentiment overlap slightly, I needed to have some more dimension on my sentiment. So there you go, dimension on dimension and then it's finished. And I also used some sequins from Pretty Bean Parts and that pretty much finished off this project. Stay tuned because we are sneak peeking a lot of new stamp sets over the couple of days here. And I hope you like this video. If you did, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!